Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a, a fantastic day. I'm sorry I'm not dressed nicer. I just got back from work and voting. I hope you voted. Um, I voted for Donald Trump. He's, he's going to lead the country the best out of all the options. Um, so I, I did that. So I'm sorry I'm not dressed better. I just got here uh, recently. Uh, but I was doing some studying and uh, I wanted to put more videos in my Bible Nuggets um, videos. And I was thinking about people that were a type of Christ. Obviously, you've got Moses is a type of Christ. I'm thinking about going through these characters and showing how they're a type of Christ. Uh, you got Moses, you got David, uh, obviously Joseph. He's the, the most known, you know, the, the best type of Christ in the Bible. And then there's somebody I want to bring out today. And if, if you have any more types of Christ in the Bible, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, I'm just not thinking of any right this second. Uh, and please comment below just, just what you think or if there's any more types that you see that I didn't in this. But in this video, I see Uriah, a type of Christ. Obviously, we know David, this, this is a, a soldier uh, of David's. Um, this is Bathsheba's husband or was his husband. And we know that David was a type of Christ, but when you get to this aspect of the story, when you when you bring up David, all you think about is Bathsheba and David and uh, losing the baby, everything that went on. Um, and and David is a big type of Christ until this part of the story, and this is where you cannot find any type of Christ at all in what David does, and it transitions from David being a type of Christ to. Uriah looking more like a type of Christ, even in what all he that even when he went through everything that he did, and so today I just wanted to point out some ways that Uriah is a type of Christ. Number one, his name means a light of God. He had a wife that was unfaithful to him. He was betrayed by someone he trusted, and was close to. There was a Jewish leader that schemed against him and plotted his death. He took a place of service and refused to enjoy his rightful home, just like Jesus did. He was forsaking, he was forsaken in the hour of his death. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, but silent in death. There was th there's three more. He was obedient to his king unto death. He was cut off in the prime of his life. Just like Jesus, he, he died early on in his life at 33 years old. And here's the last one. He died to cover the sins of someone else. What great types of Christ. That, that, that last one just got me. He, he died to cover the sins of somebody else. And I, the question I want to ask you today is, is your life a type of Christ in any way? Could we look at your life and write down points of your life and say, oh, well, this person was a type of Christ in the way he did this, or she was a type of Christ the way she did this. We look at these characters in the Bible and we say, oh, man, the way he did this, it was just like Christ did it. But I wonder if, if you could just you know, examine yourself like the Bible says. I wonder if you could come up with anything or if anybody else could come up with anything in your life that you're a type of Christ. Maybe the, the way you pray, maybe the way you go through suffering and you're silent when other people are accusing you and bashing you. Uh, how in your life are you a type of Christ? I want to preach a message on that one day. Um, is your life a type of Christ? Because there's there's not really a ton of types of Christ in the Bible. There's so many people in the Bible that could have been a type of Christ. But the way they lived did not represent Christ at all. And so I want to ask you today, is your life a type of Christ? Could we examine your life and say, man, they were really remind me of Jesus Christ the way they handled that. Or the way they did that in their life. So that's what I wanted to give you today. Uriah, a type of Christ. And hopefully I'm going to come to you with more videos with Moses, Joseph, David, some of those other people. But I just wanted to ask you, this is not no deep video or nothing. But is your life a type of Christ? And we need to figure out 
how we can be the most like Christ. That's what a Christian means, is to be Christ-like. And so I hope you have a fantastic day. Please hit the like button. Please comment uh, your thoughts and just some things you want to add. And I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching.